This video will be a short introduction to accessing data from your WHO COVID-19 FFX protocol template application in ComCare. ComCare data is organized into two elements called forms and cases. Forms resemble individual paper forms and retain uh, all of the data points that are entered uh, during the completion of that form. Cases are, um, are files that are used to track information against an, uh, an individual thing, such as a person, in this case um, a COVID-19 case, someone who has COVID-19 or is suspected, or a contact, um, or a test result. So we have a few different uh, case types of test results. Cases differ from forms in that case data is updated by forms and therefore the case file will always show the latest information that has been entered against it. Whereas the form data is not updated and each uh, file of form data will show um, what was originally recorded against it. So right now I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to register a COVID-19 case. So as I'm completing these questions, I'm completing a form. And at the end, this form is going to create a case. So when we look in ComCare HQ in a moment, we'll have two data points related to this action that I've taken. And just to make sure it goes to the server, I'm going to sync. So now in my project space on ComCare HQ, I can go to my data tab and first, I'm going to look for form data. So I have two exports configured, one for registration forms and one for suspected uh, for A0 forms. To add a new one, I can press the Add Export button. I pick my application from uh, any other applications that are in my space. I pick the menu that I'm interested in. And then I can pick from the forms that are in that menu. And then when I click Add Export, I'll be taken to another menu where I'll have a few more um, items of configuration. So here I can see what kind of file type it will be. I can do CSVs, older Excel versions, or 2007 plus. I can automatically format the cells. I can automatically convert dates. And I can decide which elements of my form data I want to include in this particular export. I can also arrange them in the order that I desire. And this is a the A1 form, it's a long form, and you can see there are many data points that can be collected from this form. So let's see, I'll go ahead and create that. So we just filled out a registration form, and I want to look at them, and I want to look at some others as well. So if I select bulk export and click all, I'll see a bulk export button and I can export all of the forms or I can pick and choose which ones. I can see which exports I'm getting in my file. I can see which users I'm getting um, form data from. I can filter my export to only look at a specific user, for instance, 
and I can focus on a specific date range. So now I've downloaded these form data. And this is the registration forms. I can see the IDs of the forms and the information from each form that was filled out. In this particular application, because it's based on a paper form protocol uh, that I'm looking at right now on the screen, the first best approach to this data is to start from the protocol itself and to use form data from Comcare HQ. The, the application will have data points in these forms for all of the questions in these protocols or in, in each of these forms in the protocol. And starting on page 21, the protocol includes a nice table that outlines um, the parameters, the definitions, the questions um, related and the limitations for each uh, each data point coming out of the whole protocol. So if there's any particular um, area that you want to focus on, um, you can look at this table to see which forms and which questions to look at. So I also mentioned case data and case data is not immediately um, referenced in the in the protocol because it's paper based but we do have the ability to look at um, what we've saved for uh, individual people of COVID-19 cases and contacts and we also have for instance virology tests. So again, I can select and deselect which items I want. I can change the order. I'm just going to export the COVID-19 cases from this project space. We can have a quick look. And so you can see that this, uh, this export was a relatively simple one where we're just looking at the names and the case IDs that were saved. But suffice to say, the rest of the data points are also available for each of the cases. And that concludes um, this brief introduction to accessing your, um, your data in Comcare for your WHO template application.